Cubic has just been officially tested by Certic, and the chain clocked in 15.5 million transactions per second to officially become the fastest cryptocurrency in the world. In this short video, I'll explain how the test was performed and shut down any doubts by comparing to how other networks tested their max throughput. So first, let me describe how Cubic TickChain processes transactions. In Cubic, there are no blocks filled with transactions. There are ticks. Each tick gets filled with a maximum of 1,024 transactions. Ticks post constantly within the time set by the protocol. As of today, Cubic ticks once every 1.18 seconds. It is important to note that the tick chain is currently running in its first gear, so to speak, because faster speeds are not currently required. More on this later in the video. Now, let's talk about what has been achieved so far with the current state of Cubic tick chain. Recently, Certic has finalized their live mainnet test of Cubic. Even at 1.18 seconds per tick, the results blew everyone's mind. 15 and a half million transactions per second is a bold claim. And as you may have noticed, at 1,024 transactions per tick, the speed should be in the range of 1,000 TPS. Well, magic! You can send millions of transfers, which are a simple type of transactions, with a single smart contract execution to millions of different addresses. You can think of it as executing an airdrop to multiple addresses all at once. And this is how Certic test was performed, and exactly the reason why the haters are upset. But haters are haters for a reason. Their job is not to analyze and interpret. Me, on the other hand, a lover, not a hater, so it's my job. Let's look at how other well-known fast chains did this sort of test. Let's start with Mighty Solana. There has not been any official testing on mainnet for a reason. The test was set up by the team and I quote, the benchmark throughput of 65 transactions per second based on simple transactions. Notice, simple transactions. The test was also run on most powerful nodes at the time with best possible connection. Same requirements for the mainnet would result in centralization. So under lab conditions, Solana claimed it did the speed, but until it's tested on the mainnet, it's a theoretical figure. Now let's have a quick look at ICP, the internet computer, which claims maximum throughput of 210,000 transactions per second. Well, they tested the max throughput on their chain using query calls, a read-only retrieval of information that does not change the state of the blockchain and does not require consensus. That is not a valid comparison to the tests we're discussing here, and that number is irrelevant. The actual maximum throughput of the update calls, which changed the state of the ledger, was 26,000 transactions per second, performed by Chainspect. Now, this is how they did the actual test. They built a tiny super simple smart contract that just counts up. Then they slammed them with a huge number of add one requests. This showed how fast ICP can move basic updates around its maximum speed. So it was many to one sort of test. TAN, the Telegram Open Network Blockchain, a well-known and solid project by Pavel Durov. It's a native Telegram messenger blockchain with a working sharding architecture. Let's look at how that was tested for its maximum throughput. Apparently, TAN used testnet for this, but it was set up just like their mainnet. No issues there. They triggered simple smart contract actions, like updating a counter or making a microtransfer. Per their GitHub repository, and I quote, a smart contract creates child smart contracts that send messages to each other, generating the load. So again, they did the simplest action their chain could do. They were sending mass transfers between smart contracts. Now let's look at SUI. The project is new, it's well known, and it was built by ex-meta engineers and scientists. SUI's maximum throughput came at an impressive 297,000 TPS. The architecture of SUI is different. They use programmable transaction blocks, PTBs, which are somewhat similar to smart contracts. You can read about the test in the links below the video, but here is a direct quote from them. The test involved executing PTBs composed of simple, low-complexity operations, such as basic state changes or object transfers. In another article, they basically describe that the test was an airdrop based on multiple smart contracts, 
a very similar test to what Cubic ran. So look, the point of this video is that to test a blockchain to its maximum throughput, the test must satisfy a very minimal set of rules. And those are, there needs to be a change in the ledger, and there needs to be a reasonable number of nodes supporting the network. Everything else is very flexible, protocol dependent, and the topic of discussions and arguments. It is up to the tester to validate if the test was valid, and Certic is the best in the industry to do this. After doing even a sliver of research, if you say that Cubic's speed claims are false, then you must treat every other blockchain speed test as such. Mark Twain once famously said, there are three kinds of lies, lies, damned lies, and statistics. Cubic just gave you the statistics based on the test on the mainnet, backed by a reputable company. So we have our numbers for Cubic, but I still get the questions as to why the TPS is below the previously claimed 55 million. Let's go back to the speed of ticks per second. As requirements and chain usage go up, Cubic can accelerate to post up to 5 ticks per second, or 0.2 seconds per tick. Now, as an experiment, let's do simple math. If Cubic tested at 15.5 million transactions per second, at 1.18 seconds per tick, then at 0.2 seconds per tick, the output can theoretically grow to 92 million TPS. That said, the increase is not linear, so 55 million transactions per second is a number at which Cubic can operate and was previously tested. Let's not forget that there was also an independent physical test performed at 20 million transactions per second, with the systems running at the stable rate for the whole week while the tick speed was more than 50% slower than it is today. This further proves the validity of the claims. So in conclusion, I'll say this. Cubic has successfully tested its current throughput. As crazy as it sounds, it hasn't reached its limits and still has much room to improve. The test was performed under similar assumptions to top competitors in the industry, and it is officially the fastest chain to ever be tested. Those who are looking for a test which shows the ongoing speed of the network, Chainspect is currently working on that. Let's wait for those results to enjoy another stream of tears from the complainers and the competitors. Do not be a hater and celebrate this breakthrough in our favorite industry. Till next time. Oh yeah, please follow me on YouTube and X, it really helps me continue making this content.